Let's take a look at problem 5.3a, more dividend discount model. Uh, this one's a little bit different in how it works because it's a company that's going to go out of business. So it doesn't go on forever as the uh, other questions have implied. Westbrook Technologies is a mining operation and pays a constant dividend of $15 per share. So no growth rate on this dividend. After 10 years, the company is expected to shut down and retire the mine. At that point, the company is going to stop paying dividends and stop operating. Uh, the required rate of return on the stock is 14%. So here's what's happening, right? We're going to get a $15 dividend in a year. And so $15 divided by uh, 1.14 to the power of one. So that's the value of that cash flow today is going to be 15 divided by 1.14 to the one. And in two years, we're going to get again, a $15 dividend. So 15 divided by 1.14 to the two and time do that all the way up to 10. 1.14 to the 10 and then it stops and the company's dead <laughs> so we're gonna get 10 15 dividends what's that worth in today's dollars well this is an annuity situation so we'll use the present value of an annuity formula we'll do that after i'll do it in my calculator just because it is fairly quick straightforward calculation i'm just clearing things out here um so let's start with my n uh, it's 10 years. So 10 goes in as my N. My IY is the discount rate, which is 14%. So 14 goes in as my IY. We don't know the PV. The amount of the P... P <laughs> Easy for me to say. I stumbled there. The amount of the payment is $15. Forgive that stumble. I felt like I sounded like Porky Pig. That's a very old reference. But uh, there we go. The amount of the regular dividend payment is 15 and the future value is zero. This thing's going to zero. So FV goes in at zero. I compute the PV. If I wanted a stock that would pay me a $15 dividend for the next 10 years, 14% discount rate, the value of those future cash flows is $78.24. So that's the value of the stock today or an appropriate price to pay for that stock today. There we have it. We've solved 53A. I'll do it by hand in a second, but if you want to say goodbye, goodbye. Hit one of those buttons on your way out of here and uh, see you in the next one. But if you want to solve by hand, here we go. Uh, let me zoom out a bit. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so the C is, so we're solving for PV of an annuity. The C is the amount of the regular payment, which is this $15 dividend times one minus one over one plus r 1.14 to the power of 10 years all divided by 0 0.14 let me get some brackets in place here there good enough okay so clear that out 1.14 to the power of 10 3.7 so i go that's 1.14 to the tenth divide by one one by that so one over x 0.269 one minus that answer so minus one hit the plus minus 0.73 divide by 0.14 5.2 multiply that by 15 and because i haven't rounded I get the exact same answer 78.2417 if you look back in the video it's going to be 78.2417 and you can see that does indeed match my answer. So we've solved it twice. Uh, don't hit the button twice. I was going to say, oh, if you liked it, hit the like button twice. No, that erases it. Uh, hit it one, hit it three times. Hit it twice and then hit it a third time to give me an extra thumbs up. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are in this world. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.